All right. On this video, I just want to take a couple steps back from some videos I've been doing and just kind of go back to the basics of a computer. Um, what are the components that make up a computer? How do they work? Um, but do it on a very basic level. Um, kind of strip down the complexity of a computer into just the basics. And basically, I would strip it down into six components, six parts. And those six parts would be the motherboard or the mainboard, the CPU, the central processing unit, the RAM, which is the random access memory, the hard drive, which is your storage, a video adapter, a video card, and a power supply, obviously, to give the, the computer power. And I guess you have things like monitor, mouse, keyboard, a case to put it in, but in essence, those are just things that we use to interact with the computer or that we use to store the computer in. They're not actually part of, of the computer of what makes a computer a computer. So, the motherboard or the main board. Um, this is the, the central piece of your computer. Um, I would argue the most important piece um, because it does, it communicates all the different parts of a computer um, to the other parts. Um, so if you have um, a bad motherboard, nothing's gonna work. Um, so this controls all the major things. Um, it is also the thing that you would plug your mouse, keyboard, USB, printer, all that plugs into the motherboard of the main board. The first component that would plug into the motherboard is your processor or your CPU. This is really the brains of your computer. This chip is what does all the processing. Um, if you open up in an explorer, you look at a picture, you watch a video, this chip is doing something. It is processing that information and then giving you something that you can see after it processes the data. The next piece is the RAM, and this is extremely important. Uh, RAM is where the you request to open up a web page, the processor processes it, but then you're using it. So the computer needs somewhere to store that so it can quickly continue to give you that information, and that's what RAM is. Um, RAM is the randomly accessible memory, so at any point um, the computer can pull back information from this very quickly on um, a very little delay. Um, and so that's what RAM does. It, it's where all your programs are running, and that's where they are stored. Now, similar to that, that's memory. This is also memory, but this would be considered storage memory. Um, your hard drive. This is where your pictures, your videos are actually saved. Um, so one confusing thing is can be my computer needs more memory. Okay, well, these are both memory. So which memory are you talking about? So the difference is, this is the memory, so if your computer is getting filled up, you have a lot of pictures, and you're running out of space to save stuff, then you need more storage memory. If your computer is running slow, and if you have a lot of programs open, and your computer seems to run slower, then you need more RAM, and you need more random access memory. So two different things there. Um, they both are very important, but they both serve very different roles. Uh, next is the video card. Um, could be arguably a very important piece. Um, not necessarily required for the computer to compute, <laughs> but required for you to be able to see anything on a monitor. Um, a graphics card uh, may not always be a separate piece in the component. A lot of motherboards will actually have that part built into it as a separate piece on the board. And then what it'll do if that's the case is the RAM and the processor will act um, will we'll process for that video card. Um, but um, a lot of gaming machines or video editing machines need to have a separate video card so that all the processing that's going on the monitor, all that graphics and stuff is handled right here. So a graphics card has its own processing processor called a GPU, which is a graphics processor unit, and it also has its own RAM. So in essence, it's its own little unit. Um, but this does, if you had a separate card, does plug right into the motherboard like so. So it is all connected into the same system. And then finally the power supply, um, which is uh, pretty basic in essence. I mean, this is the part that you would plug into the wall. This is the part you would see on the back of your computer that you plug in. And then on the other side of that is all the wires that go to different components, the motherboard, the hard drive, basically giving power um, to everything that you have. So that's the basics of a computer. Um, six components, yes there's more, you could argue there's, you could have less technically, 
you could just have the motherboard processor RAM power so maybe four you could technically run a compute with um, more because all that you, know, you have add-on cards and other things that you would add um, but I'm going to say there's six basic components that make a computer functional so that's my video on the basics of how a computer works so thank you for watching